Do you believe that in this world, there is a bathtub that can help you change your identity? From poor to rich, from commoner to princess, from untalented to extremely talented. Lily was lucky to own that bathtub, but before that... Lily, have you finished cleaning up yet? She was just an ordinary girl, a commoner. Lily was the second daughter in a poor family in the town. Reading again? If only you were as smart as Susan, who reads a lot! Don't do anything useless anymore. Instead, sort out these grains. Susan, the eldest daughter, was sent to study at the Royal Academy, which had a very high tuition fee. So Lily had to stop her own studies and help her parents make money from an early age. My teacher is here to visit. <laughs> Hello, I'm here to inform you that Sally has been selected to participate in the talent competition of the whole kingdom coming soon. Oh, is that so? I heard that Susan also performs well at the Royal Academy. You have two wonderful daughters. Actually, it's three. Lily lived in the shadow of her older sister and was always asked why they were born to the same parents as she was so ordinary. Why wasn't she as good as her sister? Oh no, why is one missing? All right then, Lily have an apple. Lily loves apples the most. Mm, I also like to eat bread. The clothes she wore were all hand-me-downs from her sister, and that were no longer being worn. Mom, what about Lily? Where are Lily's clothes? You'll both be starting school soon and need new clothes. Sally also needs clothes for performances with her friends. Lily can wear your old clothes for now. They're still good as new. It shouldn't go to waste. Huh? Unlike Lily's miserable fate, her cute little sister was much more loved. Oh no, I forgot. Lily, bring tea to the teacher. Okay, dear. In addition to being compared to her older sister, with the addition of a younger sister, Lily also faced the misery of not having a good appearance like her younger sibling. Is this Sally's little sister? She's a little short, but she'll probably catch up to her sisters in a few years. Oh well, Lily, why don't you go outside and help me finish some tasks? Actually, Lily had her own strengths. She was very intelligent and clever, especially in quick calculations. It's all gone. Today there's nothing left to sell. Huh? Oh, oh no! no! Every time Lily helped her neighbor sell goods, they were always in high demand and sold out quickly. You're really good, but it's a shame you're a girl. If you were a boy, you could handle the business and help the family. After each day like that, Lily's neighbor paid her a small amount of money. In addition to the fixed amount of money she earned to help send her older sister to school, Lily was careful to save up to buy herself a gift. That day finally came, and Lily was overjoyed to hold the first and only dress that belonged to her. However, Sally saw it and insisted on wearing it because it was suitable for her important audition. Can't you two just stop it? Lily, let your sister wear it first. After all, you're the older sister. It's just a dress. You don't understand, Mom. It's not just a dress. Feeling sad, but when she saw an old lady drop all her belongings in the muddy and dirty streets, Lily didn't hesitate to rush to her aid. Huh? Upon seeing the entire dirty state of the young lady, the old woman insisted on inviting her to her house huh? to take a bath and promised to prepare a new set of clothes for Lily. Despite Lily's reluctance, she had to follow the old woman because of her warmth and eagerness. However, when they opened the door to the bathroom, Lily couldn't believe in her own eyes. Huh? 
Contrary to the shabby appearance of the outside of the house, the bathroom was beautifully decorated and mystical like a fairy tale forest. The warm water made Lily feel much more relaxed and she began to think about her past troubles. If only I could become someone else, anyone as long as I'm treated better. I can huh? fulfill your wish. Huh? But remember, you must never let anyone know about this truth, or the magic will disappear completely. Who are you? What is happening? Don't be afraid. Huh? Now step outside, and you will huh? see my gift. Lily hesitated, but eventually followed through, and the magical spell took effect, turning her into a sparkling huh? princess. Huh? Princess, are you ready? Lily was huh? stunned by the stunning beauty huh? and grandeur huh? of the room as she stepped out. The servants arranged themselves huh? in a crowded line, waiting to serve mm -hmm. Lily. Huh? The costumes, jewelry and makeup were so plentiful that they couldn't be counted. As the bathhouse <laughs> goddess has said, Lily's huh? status changed huh? and she became a royal mm -hmm. princess. <laughs> Lily enjoyed living in such luxury and thought she would never return to her previous life. She was too happy. However, when Lily wanted to go out, she was stopped. As a princess, she couldn't do whatever huh? she wanted. Huh? Even as a commoner or as Princess Lily, she was huh? still compared to her siblings. Today is the engagement party of the Prince huh? of Wayland and you! What? I have to get engaged? I have never met him before. What if he's an old, bald and ugly man? No, not at all. Just a bit old. Hmm? No, never. I have to go. I won't be a princess anymore. <laughs> Lily's request for freedom was accepted. Next time, she became a captain on a never-ending ship. Lily had the power to decide everything, forcing <laughs> others to obey her. With her natural intelligence, Lily found many vast <laughs> treasures. <laughs> However, with great power came great responsibility, pressure and even looming danger. She almost got assassinated while fighting for treasure and realized that this was not an ordinary ship, but a pirate ship. So, in the end, Lily ran away once again. On the third occasion, the bathtub fulfilled Lily's dream of becoming a prominent person like herself, by granting her the identity of a famous dancer. Lily's past resentment returned, Huh? And she made a small decision to defeat her sister and prove that she was not inferior to her. Oh. Lily participated <laughs> in the competition her sister joined. And as predicted, <laughs> she surpassed Sally in all the challenges. She thought she would be happy. But seeing her sister supported and helped by the family, all the joy in Lily seemed to vanish. Lily realized that all she needed was recognition and love from her family. Wanting to win and defeat her sister was like that, but as soon as Lily saw her sister being sabotaged by another contestant, her anger flared up. Don't act anymore. I thought you hated Sally so much. That poor little girl from a poor family is likely to win that prize. Whether I hate her or not is not your concern. Never touch yeah. Sally! It's too late. Huh? This was just a backup plan. But for now... Yeah. Ah! Huh? <laughs> However, Sally huh? stepped onto the stage. Huh? And due to the faulty props, she was injured and needed emergency <laughs> treatment. Sally needed a large amount of blood transfusion. And although all huh? family members volunteered to donate, it still wasn't enough. Huh? Take more of mine. I don't care how much. Please save huh? Sally. No way. <gasps> Everyone has already donated a lot. 
If we add more, it will be harmful to the body. Lily remembered the words of the bathtub fairy that if she revealed her identity, all the magic would disappear, <laughs> and she would have to return to being a poor girl named Lily. However, nothing was more important than family, so Lily pushed aside thoughts of consequences huh? and stepped forward, huh? saying that she was their family <laughs> and she would save Sally. When huh? Lily woke up, everything had returned to normal because she had revealed her identity. When you ran away from home that day and huh? went missing, where did you go? We're sorry for not understanding your emotions. We don't favor anyone. You are all our children. It's because you are the strongest and most like me that I was too confident in you and unintentionally didn't give you as much attention as your softer, weaker sisters. Huh? Hmm. Lily? I'm sorry. I tried to win the prize in this competition to buy a new dress for you, but I lost. Lily accepted her parents' apologies. <laughs> hmm. She realized that no matter what status one has, life huh? can be difficult and requires facing and finding ways huh? to overcome it. I'm sorry for opening it without asking for permission. Lily, the whole family knows now. You're the smartest and best at business. Pursue what you're good at. <laughs> exactly! What's wrong with being a girl? Here's some money we've saved up, huh? hoping it will help you start a small business. <laughs> Only a short time later, Lily's small shop was always crowded with customers. They were no longer a poor family, but had more food and clothing. Both Susan and Sally became successful and famous in their chosen fields. <laughs> but no matter how busy they were, they always made time for family. Because for them, family was always the number one priority. <laughs> Nothing better than freely studying new magic. Oh, this is weird. Is it a formula? Creating fire, water, wind, and nature powers? Wow, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I must try it out. Hmm. <laughs> Great, I succeeded. Four types of elements. Fire, water, wind, and nature! <gasps> oh no! The power of these four elements is getting stronger and stronger! I can't control anymore! Ah! <clears throat> Hi, Sabrina! Oh, what happened, Sab? <gasps> I've lost control of these magic balls! <clears throat> Sandy, watch out! <gasps> cool, she's huh? back! What happened to me? Sorry, Sandy! Those are the four elements that I just created with magic! But I couldn't control them! Just when you walked in, so... You really are a troublemaker. Mm, I'm sorry. Four elements? What do you mean? Oops! It's the power of the wind! Oh my god! How do I get it back now? It's the power of fire and ice! <coughs> oh, Alex, sorry. I can't control them. Are you alright? <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. the power of nature! Sabrina, do you have a way to break the spell for Sandy? This is the first time I made it. I'm looking, mm -hmm. but nothing was found in the book. <sighs> I have never huh? thought magic could be this troublesome. What should I do mm -hmm. now? Oh, your magic has stopped working. 
Candy, I need to study more about the elements first. In the meantime, please temporarily wear gloves to avoid trouble. You can rest assured, I and Sabrina will find a way to neutralize them for you. Are you sick? Why are you dressed like this? Uh, you, you don't understand. I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Perfect! This sapling is just what I needed for a surprise present for my lady. Sure, boss. <gasps> you guys, <gasps> stop! What are you two doing? Why do you damage trees like that? <clears throat> Who are you? It's none of your business. It's just a sapling. <clears throat> what is it worth? I took it already. What can you do to me? Even a small sapling huh? also has hmm? a soul. If you have disobeyed, then I will have to stop you. Mm. Look at her. Does she think we're afraid when she takes off her gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Elements, give me your strength to stop the evil ahead. I want to borrow the power of the wind. What's that? Run. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, the small tree has not been uprooted yet. <laughs> That's amazing! Do you know how to use magic? Mm. Thank you for saving me and giving me a soul! <laughs> you are welcome, little tree. I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you. We have been waiting for a miracle person for a long time, and you have appeared. Sandy, can you help my friends too? Please? Okay, take me there. <gasps> oh no! The plants here are all withered! I have to start now. Great! Miracle has come to our garden! Guys, it's all thanks to Sandy! Thank you, Miracle <laughs> Girl! You saved our whole kingdom! But why is your garden so dry? Uh... That's because the garden's princess tree is seriously ill. She's been hit by an evil curse for a long time, and our whole kingdom is affected. Please, Please save, save our, our princess. princess! I'm ready. Take me to your princess tree. That's our princess. She is the one that has influence over the whole garden. She lacks the necessary elements, so she always lacks vitality. In order to save her, I must give her all of my elemental powers. And then I won't be able to use magic anymore. I always believe that the greatest strength is created by scientific research myself. If sacrificing my own magic could save this garden, then I don't need to consider anymore. I volunteered to sacrifice my elemental powers to save the princess tree and this whole garden! <laughs> Thank you very much, wonderful girl. You have lifted the curse for me and this garden. The princess is recovered! The, the garden, garden is saved! Sandy, this is my magic seed. It is the raw material for making miracle drugs that help plants grow with positive energy. Hope it helps you. <laughs> That's how it happened. Indeed, I prefer this magical plant to those four elemental powers.
Alex, you shouldn't touch anything in the basement. <laughs> They were all objects sealed by my mother, so if we are not careful to let them out, it can be dangerous for us. Sabrina, you forgot to clean your things again. I'm coming. You stay here to clean and remember not to mess around with the furniture. I... no. no. Fortunately, there were no scratches. Are you an ordinary person? Looks like the picture. Just talk to me. I have to tell Sabrina. Stop! Come over here. Help me untie the ceiling rope and towel for me to get out of here. Alex, have you done the clean yet? I don't know. When I was cleaning, I had a headache, then I couldn't remember anything. Oh, because I was careless to leave you alone here. Maybe you were affected by sealing the dark magic? Let's go up and eat a cake made by my mother, and you'll be fine. I also got some extra stuff for you in the room. Hmm. out of the picture. I will take revenge on you for sealing me for 16 years. <laughs> Oops, what's going on? I must have accidentally spilled something. Oh, I'm so angry. I didn't expect Brent was that old. But she just stretched out her hand and still knocked me into another room. She even didn't think that she was threatened. So, how can I get revenge? Alex, when my daughter is done, you two can eat cake and take a rest. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to bring this cake to the orphanage. <laughs> Sabrina, remember to take your stuff quickly. Yes. Oh, that girl is Brenda's daughter. <laughs> so if I can't find Brenda, I will take my revenge on that boy and her little daughter. <laughs> hmm. Ah! W w why are these items flying toward me? Sabrina! Alex, what's going on? <laughs> Is this Alex's ice bomb? Sabrina, you know I'm tired, so you want to use this opportunity to tease me with magic? I didn't do anything to you! It's you who teased me! <laughs> huh? Did you... hear someone laugh? Who? Is that your red herring? Here, I heard laughter coming from the basement. Let me use magic. Mm. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny when these kids are teased. It's been a long time since I've felt this happy. <laughs> I used to be a cursed princess living in this picture. I used to make fun of others. However, 16 years ago, Brenda sealed me with magic circle and this scarf and rope. Fortunately, that girl accidentally left the boy alone, so I had the chance to hypnotize him and get out. Ha ha ha, to enjoy this fun, I must think of many other pranks to play with Brenda's family. It turned out that she was the reason. We have to stop her. But how? This is my mother's magic book. In this book, there is a way to draw a magic circle to seal the Isolde painting princess. You draw it in the living room, and I'll take the painting, the towel, and the magic rope. 
Okay. <laughs> Where is this smoke coming from? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I got it! Mm, daughter of Brenda, quickly give me back these things! No way! I caught you! But where's that boy? <laughs> Are you drawing the magic circle to seal me? Huh? Huh? Stay away from me! What if I don't? What will you do? Your circle is broken! <laughs> what is that? the second magic circle I drew for you. Let me go! Huh? <sighs> From now on, just obediently stay in the picture and stop causing trouble. <laughs> no! No! I will come back for revenge! <sighs> Sabrina, are you okay? No problem. Now just bring her back to the basement and detain her more carefully. That's probably safe. Now we can safely go to the kitchen to find cakes to eat. <laughs> <laughs>